Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly. Today I'm going to be filming the week of April 9th in my Erin Condren planner. The kit I'm going to be using is this kit from Two Little Bees. And honestly, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not sure if you're going to see the haul where this is before or after this video. So if it's after, I apologize. Um, but we've got a huge kit here, lots to use. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to use the bottom washi but I think I'm just gonna use the purple and then I'm gonna bring in maybe uh, some Simply Gilded. The bows are cute, but I do like the look of like bringing some foil into the bottom washi, so I think I'm gonna do that. I don't think I'd have a room for like a full strip, so let me grab a skinny bow. So these are the newer pink and gold skinny bows. Oh yeah, those will fit perfectly. And the color goes really well. I'm definitely going to be using gold foil with this kit. Someone asked me on one of my videos, are you ever going to do a spread without foil again? Real talk. Probably no. No, I'm kidding. But like in my Erin Condren, especially since this is the one I plan to like keep forever as opposed to my inserts, um, I do really like to use foil. It's just my preference. I think it looks really nice with the gold coil. Um, so yeah. If you're looking for foiled, unfoiled spreads, it might not be the channel for you. You could watch my old videos. I used to do a lot of non-foiled spreads before I discovered the wonderful world of foil. Okay, and we have that down. Next, I think I'm going to do the full boxes to get those down. So oh, I, mean, I have to skip one of these. That's going to pain me because they're all perfection. I don't know which one to skip, honestly. Okay, well, let's put the quote box down. I did cover over the petals. I originally wanted to use this kit in April because it's purple and April is purple, but the dots are a very blue purple. I don't know if you can tell on that page. So I did color over them with this gold marker from American Crafts. I got it at Target. Oh boy, I don't know which one to skip. Okay, well, you guys know I love purple, so I'm probably gonna skip one of the pink boxes because we do have three of them. Probably one of these two since they're both floral. Maybe I'll skip that one. Um, but let me take a look at my plans. Um, well, I hope these boxes are too pretty to cover. So I think I'm just going to stagger them. And we'll try to make that work. And I think I'll do down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So maybe Saturday. And I'll go through and just kind of figure these out. I actually think I'm gonna trade this one. I think since I didn't realize these are pretty much like the same kind of zoom um, on the florals, just with different color backgrounds, I think I'll use this one instead. Well, then that's like a lot of like single item things, but that's okay. Okay, so now the top decision, the headers. So as always with Maria's kits, we have some really cute decorative headers. We also have these really cute to-do headers with the print on them. I might use, I also have though, I pulled out my light gold headers. These are from Rose Colored Days. I kind of might not use these. Um, I'm definitely gonna use foil this week, but I don't know that I need foiled headers. So I think I'm gonna use to-do today and then maybe the printed headers. Um, maybe the printed headers on top of the full boxes. Is that a little much? Maybe I'll use the purple bow headers um, on top of the full boxes. Okay, what if we did, here's a strange idea. What if we did purple bow headers? I just don't wanna use today. Hmm. I don't wanna use the today and the purple bow headers right next to each other, I don't think in most cases, but could I just do today straight across the top and then kind of alternate the to-dos? I could do that, that's an option. That's kind of like um, Mrs. Mom Next Door sometimes does a similar format to that or, or just alternate some top bottom, the full boxes. I think this could work. So what is going on in my life? Last week's Erin Condren was like super late, which you've probably seen by now. Um, I 
have been just kind of having like a hard time feeling like I'm fitting everything in. This week I'm going to try to do like very, I've gotten honestly like sort of addicted to the Simply Gilded buy sell trade boards and this week I'm really going to try to cut down on that and just like my phone screen time in general and like laptop screen time when I'm not being productive. I feel like I've been spending a lot of time lately especially like on weeknights just kind of like glued to the computer not in a great way um and uh I think that if I uh, I think that'll make me feel like I have more space if I let the dumb stuff go because right now it's like oh I don't have space for like all my priorities because I like I want to work out and be social and do stuff with Dan and like get house projects done and YouTube and and it's like oh, I don't have space for everything and realistically I probably don't have space for truly everything but like right now like just like basic like this weekend I had like two social things like something on Friday night and then something on Saturday during the day and honestly by like Saturday night I was like having a meltdown to Dan I was like I haven't had time like to do everything I wanted to do blah 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 um and he was like well he's like we still have like a day and a half of the weekend left and also you've already like so anyways long story short I think uh sometimes I feel like I don't have enough time because I'm spending it not how I want to do like how like I get sucked into doing stuff that I don't actually like enjoy doesn't feel great at the end spending like if you you know if you find like a great simply gilded bow washy like while you're sitting there watching youtube and it's like oh wow what a fine but at the end of the day it's like do i need more washing no do i need to be watching more dumb youtube stuff like i still enjoy watching some planner stuff but like i don't know i've gotten into like the vlog squad recently which are funny but it's just like this is not how like it doesn't leave me feeling great at the end of the day like reading does or like um I don't know this weekend I started a puzzle for the first time oh my god guys it was so fun like so puzzling I guess is like the new kind of like mindfulness activity for lack of better word like do you guys remember when coloring was really big I'm gonna move on to the sidebar and keep chatting coloring was really big like a couple years ago and I feel like puzzles are kind of the new coloring um, I've seen them a couple different places. I'm going to use some more skinny bows. And so, and one of my friends, one of my close friends tried it. Um, and she really liked it. And she was like, Holly, I bet you'd like it. Cause you can like listen to podcasts while you do your puzzle. And I did that for like a couple hours last guy, last night guys. And I had like a blast. Like I was just like living my best life really relaxed, really enjoyed like getting the extra time for podcasts. Cause sometimes I feel like I want to listen to more podcasts, but there's only so much walking that I can do with Sarita. Um, so yeah, it was really relaxing and like uh, not so like brain numbing as like sitting there and watching YouTube and being on Facebook, you know? Um, so that was overall a good decision. So more stuff like that, I think. And also I want to keep working on my puzzle because I got the whole edge done. It's like 550 pieces. It was definitely like an aggressive place to start for a new puzzler, but um, I am excited. I'm gonna do this mint one because I feel like there's not a ton of mint. Oh, I wanna do that down here though because I don't wanna put it right there. So first I'll do this and do a this week header and I'm not even gonna put a piece of washi behind it. Oh wait, do we have a cute this week header? We have these, what do these say? Um, oh yeah, there's the this week. I knew we had a cute one. I'm gonna take the purple one. So do you guys have hobbies that are like not screen time? I feel like knitting is a popular one or people knit while they watch TV, but at least you're like doing something a little bit more productive. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones that I know my friends do. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put another pink strip here just cause I have it. Actually, am I gonna have room if I do that? No, I'm not, so. Lies, I don't have room. Wait, we do have like a tiny little strip here on this, between the habit trackers, she puts like this tiny little piece. So I'm gonna put that there, just to break it up a little. And then I can fit this, and for that, I'm going to take a 
little to do script header and just put it in the center because I think that's so cute. And then I take the little dots and I'm going to put those down. So yeah, I think puzzling is my new thing, guys. I've done it like, Dan always makes fun of me because I'll do something once and I'm like, it's my new thing. But I don't know. I know pretty quickly if I like stuff and I liked it. So whatever. But yeah, I think I've just been really felt really busy lately because so much of like, like every other weekend in March, I was away. So even when I was home, it just felt like I had a lot to get done, like YouTube wise and everything because I had spent some time away. Um, I'm going to do my date covers next. I'm going to use these from Simply Watercolor Co. because they're just already on the um, circles. So and then I can save the transparent date dots from Rose Color Days. So yeah, it's just been, March was a busy month, April, honestly, like next weekend, as you'll see in my plans, my parents are visiting. And then two weekends from now, I have like basically a work event all weekend and then we leave for Cancun. But I think I just need to be finding ways I talked about in my like monthly plan with me, trying to find like space, feeling like I have more space in my head. And I really felt like just spending a couple hours, like yesterday I spent a lot of time reading and puzzling and both of those things left me feeling way less like frantic and rushed than I do, I don't know, when I just like get sucked into the internet vortex. It's hard though. I mean, they make that shit addictive. Like it's, there's a reason I feel sucked in, you know? Um, so yeah, that is whiting out the date covers because they're a little, uh, the ones from the two little bees are a little transparent. Not transparent, just like translucent. Okay, so I am ready to start planning the actual week. Guys, I have been planning on my own for I don't even know how long. My camera was like totally off, which means it's been a while. And I just realized that I did like all this intro stuff and never restarted my camera. So I'm like really worried you guys missed a lot. So I'm gonna back up to Monday. Apologies if some of this ends up being redundant, but I'm like afraid it's not. So on Monday, I went ahead and marked down that um, I had to get my photo taken at work. Um, it's like it works headshots. So I put that in. Um, and then I used this coffee cup from Fox and Pip to mark down that I'm getting lunch with a coworker that's visiting from an out of town office. Then I used a flag from the kit layered with this yoga word from Hummingbird Planner. It's transparent to note down that um, I am going to do a quick thing of yoga after work. And then that night I want to get some editing done. So I took a cute little Fox and Pip girl and an edit script from Magic Prince Co. And then I need to mark down or I wanted to mark down that I needed to change my contacts. Um, and I was saying like I've been having really bad allergies. So I used a little remember sticker from Paper Muse Crafts. Oh my God, guys, I've been chatting so much. I hope I didn't like lose everything. Um, on Tuesday, I'm going to go to Elevate. So I took a little Fox and Pip girl and then this little... Um, uh, what is that called? A kettlebell from the kit itself. And then that night we need to do our taxes. They're like pretty much done, but like we have to pay and finalize and everything. So I used the computer from the kit to mark that. And then I want to upload a video that day. So I used a Clever Girl Crafts. Um, it's the light purple one from the Millie colorway um, with gold foil on top of a little thing. And then the other thing, I think I'm going to go back and add this. So I had these transparent words from Hummingbird Planner that say Elevate. I think I'll just add that on here as well. Um, and just so I can kind of use those consistently throughout the week. I thought that'd be kind of cute. Um, and so that is Tuesday. Ugh, I hope you guys didn't miss my sidebar because I was talking about some good stuff during my sidebar. Oh guys, I hate when I do this. Okay. Anyway, on to Wednesday. Wednesday is a team lunch at work. So for that, I'm going to take, I think I'll take one of these. Maybe I'll take this little, mm, this on top of a flag, I think will be good. Um, Cause I just, it's um like senior staff lunch. I just don't want to forget that I don't need to bring my lunch. It's pretty rare that I have two like work lunches and actually I'd have a third on Friday, but I'm taking the day off. Um, so I'll just write in work lunch that day. And then I do want to go to the gym after work. I'm honestly not sure what I'm going to do, but my husband has, um, 
he's like out with a friend that night anyway, so I might as well squeeze in a workout. So speaking of him being out with a friend, I think I'm gonna take a little reminder sticker and just put that down here. And I can put, do we have like an asterisk or something? I think to, for the little reminder, I'm just gonna take a cute little bow actually. I think that's kind of cute, right? Um, to remind me that Dan is out that night and then I do want to work out. So I'm gonna take a little green box here. And I think I'll just um, take the maybe workout sticker from Hummingbird Planner. Trying to use these maybe instead of foil this week. Actually, I, but I think I'm gonna use a foiled icon just because I need a little foil, guys. Um, I pulled, I thought I pulled my collab sheet. Yes, oh, I need to get a new one out. That one's almost used up, guys. Oh, I can't believe I was just yapping to myself. That is like, ugh my biggest pet peeve with myself. Can you have your own, can you be annoyed with yourself or something and call it a pet peeve? Is that allowed? I think I'm gonna take the little sneaker here from the collab sheet. Um, Cause I think I'll probably try to run just like on the treadmill um, at the gym, just for like, just to get something done. And then Dan is out, so I have that marked down. And then that night, I don't really have anything that I need to do. So I'm gonna leave it blank um, to see what else I need to finish up. Um, I might wanna like take, man, maybe I'll put in a reminder to take some Instagram photos, like my midweek and stuff. It's cause we have this really cute little Instagram icon. So I might as well use it, so cute. Um, and then I'll leave the rest blank with whatever else I wanna get done. And then on to Thursday. Thursday I am planning on lifting at lunch. So for that, I think I'll take what next to it, pink, or not pink, so I can use pink. So take a half box and I think I'll take a workout sticker from my collab sheet and another little dumbbell from the kit. And then I also just want to mark down that night that I do want to take a bath. I think I was debating whether where I want to put stuff, but I have some like little reminders that I want to put down here. So I think I'm going to grab a bath sticker. Almost out of this sheet, but I do have, I accidentally have two backups of this sheet um, in her new format, so that's fine. So I'll mark down bath night on Thursday and then the other things I want to do in the to do I want to work just kind of on YouTube I think I'll need to both edit I might need to film um if I have time I'd like to film I think um but I think I'm just gonna like call it generically work on YouTube so let me find a good sticker for that I think for that I'm just gonna take a little flag for my collab with Simply Watercolor Co which is kind of cute um and then I do want to put a reminder in that I have a bill due that day we have cute bills do stickers in this kit if I could figure out where I put them. Perennial struggle, oh yeah, here they are, purple. And then finally it is trash day that day, so. And with people coming this weekend, gotta make sure it all gets out. My mom gets very like antsy if she sees trash in the garbage, which is nuts because that's the purpose of a garbage can. I am going to grab a little foiled sticker for that. I have these cute little trash cans from Magic Prince Co. I'm gonna take one on top of, hmm, I'm gonna take this flag and actually cut it down um, because I kind of like shorter flags better, I've decided. And then I can use this other green piece if I want, but I'm just gonna take this here and put this like on the end. Yeah, that's cute. And then that is Thursday on to Friday. Friday, I am taking the whole day off because my parents don't understand that Friday afternoon means more like four, not like please arrive at 1230. So they always arrive super early. So I've just learned to 
deal with that. Um, so I'm going to take a purple flag at the top. And then I have these really cute, where did I put them? Day off scripts from Rose Colored Days. So cute. Yay, day off. Um, and then I'm going to take the little car and put in that they arrive. And then I really don't know like what our main activity of the day is. We have some projects to work on. My mom will probably want to like go shopping at some point. So I think I'm just going to take a half box and I can fill that in um, with whatever we want to do. So a lot of the weekend will probably be more memory keeping just because when they arrive, I just kind of try to go with the flow and not have too much planned. Um, and the only other thing, oh, I wanted to put down, I'm going to move this here because I have a call that day actually um, at 1130 that I need to be on the ball for. So I'm going to take a little phone icon from the kit and I'm going to take this little um, appointment label or do I want one that says, yeah, I think I'll take appointment and kind of layer it like that. Does that look cute? Yeah, we'll go with that. And then I'm going to take down at the bottom Um, we'll take some pink washi here, just kind of as like a little label and put it for them arriving. Okay. And then I'm just going to leave all that blank. We'll probably go out to dinner. So I'll probably fill that in with something, but I'm just going to leave that blank for now. Oh, Friday, I did want to upload a video too. So, um, I think I will put that in the to do section. And then I can, yeah, do whatever there. Okay. Then on to Saturday. Saturday, I'm realistically just going to leave totally blank. Um, maybe I'll just put in some half boxes so I kind of have them already allocated. But um, I really, we don't have much going on. And I don't really have any other personal reminders that I need to put in. So um, maybe I'll take this and... Yeah, I don't know. I'm honestly, I'm going to kind of leave the rest of that blank because I really don't know what's going on. But then on to Sunday. Sunday has a lot going on. I'm going to mark down that they are leaving that day. I'm going to take just one of these skinny appointment labels at the top. Um, and then we're going to go to Elevate. Um, I think for Elevate, I'm going to take a smaller box than I might usually just to try to fit in everything on this day. Because I have a few things to put in, but I am going to still grab an Elevate transparent sticker here. Oh, I should have used it on there. I totally forgot. Oh, well. Um, and I'm going to grab a Fox and Pip girl still because they're cute. Cute. And then that afternoon we're going to get groceries. So we have a little grocery cart from the kit. Put that in. And then I feel like I had one other um, oh, I'm going to take just the little um, TV. <laughs> One of our shows is on that night, or actually two of our shows, Silicon Valley and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. So I'm going to put both of those in. And then in the to-do section, I want to note down filming and meal prep and video and also another bill due. So we have a lot to fit in here. Actually, the bill due I could put down here. I think I'll do that just so everything's not so squished. And then for filming, we have these this really cute planner. And I'm going to layer a little film script from Magic Prince Co. over top. And I do want to do some meal prep. So I'm going to take one of these from um, Simply Watercolor Co. And I think I'm going to take the little meal prep script here. This is so cute. Um, and layer that over maybe I put it on this sort of thing. And then what was the last thing? I want to mark down laundry. So I think I'll put this towards the, oh, and my video Oh, busy day. And so I'm going to put meal prep there. I'm going to put laundry in. 
I have cute scripts from Rose Colored Days as well as, I think we have a laundry in the kit. Do we, did I make that up? I might've made that up. But I do have these really cute little baskets from Magic Prince Co. So I'm gonna take that and just have this be a very shiny day, I guess. Cute. And then the final thing I said I wanted to add my video. So let me do that. I don't love how many things. I might move the bill due back to Saturday. That one's just like a reminder. And since Saturday was kind of empty anyways. And then I can move the, the video up. I just didn't like how full this like full box was. When none of the other full boxes in the spread have. This is not. Have stuff on them. Okay, so I moved those two stickers and now I'm looking at the whole spread. The, I'm kind of feeling like these are standing out a little much. So I'm thinking I might bring in a couple of these scripts. Um, I'm gonna take this like to call here um, to kind of like integrate these hummingbird planner ones with this kit a little bit more. I think I'm just used to like having mostly foil delicate words. Um, and I'm gonna take this work Oh, I have workout right there. That's like a lot. Um, I don't know what else. To, I already did the bill dues. Otherwise, I could use those. Um, uh, maybe I'll do a to buy list on Saturday since I think we're going to have to go to Home Depot and I want to get some plants and things. Would that be a little overkill? Um, I don't know, this is just really bothering me for some reason. I'm gonna take the to buy and layer it on top of like a little thin header here. And put some dots underneath that. I think that could be cute. Yeah, it's just um, bugging me for some reason. I don't really have a good reason. Okay, that's pretty cute and that'll be good for the Home Depot. So, cause I do have like a side list of things I wanna order. So let me show you what is left in this kit. I'm not gonna add any deco right now because um, I just wanna see like what spaces I need to fill in. But we have a bunch of deco there and flags some leftover functional stuff, half boxes, one full box, the bow washi and other washi, some little things, the full box um, heart checklist, and then I didn't use the washi strips. So um, I am going to the final thing, final, final, I keep saying final, I think, um, is add in some rose colored days covers. I have just been obsessed with these just absolutely obsessed. So I think I'm gonna add like three. So I have these in the light gold. I just think that goes kind of with the softer tones of this kit. I'm gonna put the bow little one up there. Oh, that looks so good. Um, and then this one, I might put, uh, should I put it like here? I think I'll put it around this one. You can only have like the square right there, but I don't care. I just think it looks, ooh, 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 I did it wrong. And we're lifting ink. Oh shit, I really fucked that one up. Oh no. <gasps> oh, okay, I feel like I really fucked that up, but we're just gonna try to ignore that. That is the danger here. And then for the hearts, I think I'll do the hearts down here. Because then that fills in that little space. I think that looks pretty cute. Maybe I could have done gold since I did the rest of the spread in regular gold, but we definitely just learned they don't lift well. So so anyways, that is this week's spread. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Definitely don't forget to subscribe and go over and follow me on Instagram to see what my spreads look like all filled in. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.